Hey guys, today we're diving into a hot and bold topic, something serious straight out of Iran's defense tech toolbox. Ever heard of an Iranian system taking down a global hawk? Stick around, this story's wild, you really don't want to miss it. We're talking about a missile system that left experts stunned. It's called Third of Kordad, not just a date, trust me. It's a serious beast with a story worth telling here. From local pride to modern air threats, it's all in. Want the backstory? Want to know what it can do? Why it was built? How it shocked the world so fast? Even curious when it brought down that US mega drone? Get comfy, grab some tea. We're jumping right into it. We're not here to bore you with dry robotic stats. We're vibing like it's a cozy talk at a cafe. Tech talk, sure, but smooth, easy, and down-to-earth style. Stay with me and you'll be surprised what's coming next. Let's start with the name. It's got weight and meaning. Third of Kordad recalls a key day in Iran's past. It marks the liberation of Karam Shar in 82 war. So the name alone means strength, memory, and defiance. The system was revealed back in 2014 officially, but development began way before under tight sanctions. S-300 delays, global pressure, so Iran said, we build. Thus began Rod, and soon, third of Kordad took shape. This system hits the sweet spot, not short, not too far. It's a mid-range mobile unit made for fast reactions. Not a point defense like Pansir, nor heavy like S-300. Think balanced, flexible, and mobile, all rolled into one. Mounted on a 6x6 heavy-duty truck, fully mobile. It's got a radar, launcher, and control all in one. It doesn't need help from other units to operate. Totally self-sufficient and ready to fire on command. Its radar? Active phase array type with real tracking power. Over 1,700 elements inside, scanning up to 120 kilometers. It can track four targets and fire at them simultaneously. Two missiles per target. Clean, efficient, and very quick. It's not just a launcher, it's a full-blown fire unit. Each battery has a Tellar and extra Tell vehicles. That's three missiles per truck, nine in a full set. Four batteries together, that's 36 missiles ready to fly. Now let's talk missiles. There's a whole family here. Names like Tire 2, Tire 3, Sayad 2, Sayad 3, even 9 Day. Ranges vary, some hit at 30 kilometers, others at 200, each one designed for a specific type of air threat. Tire 3 is the big boy, up to 200 kilometers. That pushes the system near long-range territory easily. It's fast, climbs high, and explodes close to the target. No direct hit needed. Its proximity fuse does the job. Some missiles have active radar seekers in the nose. That means they guide themselves in final attack stage. Even if radar goes silent, they still find the target. That's slick. It makes jamming way less effective overall. Then there's the Bashir radar, 3D, long range, and smart. Scans 350 kilometers ahead, tracks stealth aircraft or crews, covers the blind spots, adds extra layer of coverage. Perfect combo with the tracking radar on the Tellar. In 2019, it had its big moment in global spotlight. Iran shot down a US RQ-4 Global Hawk drone. About 70 kilometers out, flying at 14 kilometers altitude, gone. One missile, one hit, and the world took notice fast. Everyone turned heads. What system pulled this off cleanly? Iran said, that was third of Kordad, no doubt at all. Drone wreckage was shown, and experts had to agree. The missile worked, and the message was very clear. That moment earned it a nickname, Hawk Killer or Vulture Hunter. People called it a hero in Iran's defense circles. They even showcased the exact launcher in public ceremonies. It became a symbol, bold, capable, and battle-proven system. Upgrades came fast after that major public success. They added electro-optic sensors, heat and night vision cameras, so now it doesn't even need radar to track. 
Silent, passive tracking means better survivability in combat zones. It was even tested on naval ships, seriously cool stuff. Launched from a moving vessel, hit its target dead on, then quickly relocated dodging enemy return strikes smartly. That's flexible defense, on land or sea, no problem. A special version called Nine Day was also added, made for short-range threats like drones and cruise missiles. Eight small missiles and canisters, fast reaction design system. Think of it as the quick snap layer in defense. That makes the third of Cordad a multi-layer system now. From big jets to tiny drones, it's got them covered. If it flies and it's hostile, this can stop it. Add a few units and you've got air denial zone. Its mobility gives it strong survivability, hit and run. Pops up, fires, moves fast, avoiding counter-strikes smartly. It's not just strong, it's smart in staying alive too. That's what makes it modern, lethal, and respected regionally. Some say it's like Russia's book, only more flexible. Initial design was inspired, sure, but this stands on its own now. Its newer missiles outrange older book models easily now. And Radar Tech is homegrown, solid, and jamming resistant. Rumors say it's been spotted in Syria as well, helping defend Damascus and key zones from air raids. Israel allegedly tried striking one in recent years, which means it's a serious threat, not just for show.